And Brown was in there with Cantona. And Cantona, you can see, catching McCoy's lit. The referee immediately awarding the free kick. And McCoy is back in his feet, but uh, Ian Ferguson still uh, receiving some treatment. And uh, the referee wants him taken off. It wasn't going to take much longer. But the referee really should have stopped the game immediately because of the clash of heads. And uh, Alexis Spearn, as I said earlier on, uh, has been disciplined by the Russian FA. Apparently, he awarded uh, a penalty against Moscow Dynamo, and it was clearly shown it was two Dynamo players who had fallen over one another. But in fairness to him, he's uh, handled the match firmly and without any great fuss. But obviously, there'll be a fair bit of time added on to this first half. Ferguson will continue. This is his 18th consecutive start tonight. So here come Rangers again. Grant plays it to Brown. So 25 minutes gone. And that's a goal kick indicates the referee. And Walter Smith. Uh, Going back down to the track side to join Archie Knox. McCoy did well there. It's Ian Durant. And he wins the free kick. On his feet, but it uh, was Roe Castle who took him out of the play. So it's quickly taken through to Ali McCoyst. Cross with him. Robertson's in there. The play goes on. And the goalkeeper scrambling there. Well, certainly, Cantona has uh, posed a threat or two, Gordon, uh, racing through the middle, but. Uh, Rangers must be delighted with uh, the way things have gone. And Ian Durant here is trying a rather cheeky one in towards the near post. I'm not so sure whether he tried a cheeky one there or not. I think that was just maybe a poor cross, Jerry. I was getting him a bit of the day. <laughs> and the offside flag goes up against Lee Chapman. Well, he's managed 11 goals in the last uh, 20 games, and the player Rangers will obviously have to keep a, a close watch on. Person's header. Well, it's creating problems for themselves there. This is Dale Gordon. But, uh, Chris White uh, redeemed himself, having uh, given the ball away previously, and he wins himself a free kick. That was a good little situation there as well. Dale Gordon running at a defender in the, in the box, but um, he just overran the ball a little bit there, and then sort of lunged in a bit towards Chris White. Good person climbing above Chapman. Referee awarding the free kick. It's quickly taken by Strachan. Out of the way by David Robertson. Gary McAllister's in there. It breaks out to Strachan. Another high upward one. The goalkeeper commits himself, punches it away from the head of Cantona. This is Faircloth. Goes down by Ali McCoy's and Ian Durant. John Newsom's well forward. The ball goes out for the throw in. That was a great bit of goalkeeping there behind the goal. And very brave, came and launched himself at that one and got a great punch as well. He's going to be a key player tonight because without any question about an aerial bombardment from Leeds tonight. That's one thing, uh, he's not lacking in Andy Gorham's courage. But, uh, as the game goes on, Leeds will become more and more desperate and uh, that aerial threat will become even more apparent. But you can see already how often they float the high ball into the Rangers' penalty area. This time it looks as though it'll be the long throw. Pushing players forward again, Chris White had gone up there to join Chapman. And just get it clear though. It's David Robertson. This is uh, the Regal to McAllister. Off the old Gordon there, but breaks the Gordon striking. Running. The 
keeper and to receive the throw-in. Stuart McCall, of course, who was uh, brought up just uh, a free kick from here. And uh, was very much a Leeds United fan in his younger days. So this evening, he's out to destroy them. And here comes Ian Durant. And the effort goes well wide of target. Yeah, he tried to show it there for a very tight angle, and um, unfortunately, if he'd maybe pulled it back onto his right foot and tried to whip it across the box, there was um, a couple of Rangers players that had moved forward into a good, good situation. Well, Howard Wilkins now taking some notes. Uh, may not come in useful at half time. Here come Rangers again. This is Ferguson playing it through to McCall. Robertson's running with him in support. McCall clips it through. This is McAllister for Leeds United. The slip there by Lee Chapman. Person recovers well under threat from Strachan. There's Ellie McCoyst. Hately. So that's half an hour gone here at Elland Road. And it's Leeds United nil, Rangers 1. Rangers leading 3-1 on aggregate. And it was Mark Hately after just two and a half minutes. We put Rangers ahead. It's David Robertson's clearance. And uh, Newsom climbing above McCoy's there to concede the throw in. Well, this capacity crowd has uh, gone quiet in the meantime. And when you look at uh, some of the opponents that uh, could crop up in the Champions League, uh, it is a mouth watering prospect. Uh, Herbert Gothenburg are already through this evening. And so too are Marseille. Here comes Ali McCoyst, he's onside, and uh, Lukic spread himself well. That was brave goalkeeping. He had to be alert. Ali McCoyst showing plenty of pace there. Oh, it's a lovely little touch in being Durant here. The outside of the foot, Ali times his run perfect. Ball just a little bit in front of him. So we know that uh, Marseille and Gothenburg are, are through. The likes of AC Milan, Club Bruges from Belgium, Barcelona, Porto from Portugal, and PSV Eindhoven, all among the favourites to go through tonight. So the prize is indeed a great one. And at the moment, it's very much in Rangers' own hands. This is Gary McAllister. To Dorigo. You know, there are some similarities uh, between these ties uh, and the great lead Celtic ties of uh, 1970. But, uh, here's another threat from Leeds United. That's Cantona. And again, terrific goalkeeping by Andy Gorham. Cantona so sharp, so quick, but uh, Gorham was his match on that occasion. Yeah, it was a great turning shot. Love a little ball into Gordon Strachan here. Good chest control by Cantona. Good strike as well. I wonder what they're saying about our Scottish goalkeepers now. Great goalkeeping. That's David Robertson uh, conceding another corner kick. Mark Catley back there inside his own six-yard area. Here and Chris White has played into the near post. And that was Stuart McCall popping up on the line. Well, Rangers surviving two critical moments. First of all, the save from Gorham, and yep. then McCall with a terrific clearance. Yeah, very, very dangerous in these situations. Always looking for the little corner by Gordon and Chris White, and the flick on, and a good goal line clearance there by little Stuart McCall. So the Leeds United fan thwarting his, uh, the club he supported as a boy. A couple of dangerous moments there for Rangers. Well, before all of that, uh, I was talking about uh, the, the tie between Leeds and Celtic, where Celtic had come down here and uh, scored an early goal to 1-1-0, and of course it was a Scotsman, Billy Bremner, who struck up at Hamden uh, to give Leeds first blood there, and uh, it was 2-1 in Glasgow, so there are great similarities. Celtic went on to reach that uh, European Cup final. Rangers get through tonight. Well, 
who knows what awaits them. Around £20,000 a man to win this tie tonight. I'm sure the money's the last thing in their minds at the moment. And McCall doing some great work again. Robin Strachan stepping in for Leeds United. This is Chris White. Aimed at Chapman. It's cleared by Goff. This is Hatley claiming for it. Breaks to Ferguson. He was a bit unlucky there. McCall running into trouble that time in the shape of Rocastle. Cantona's onside. Well, the Leeds fans claiming that uh, David Robertson used a hand there, but the referee immediately pointing out towards the corner flag. Yes, Chip McCall need to watch out in those situations. That was a very, very dangerous place he gave the ball away there. And Rangers nearly paid the price. So Strachan's corner. Goff climbs for it. There's Cantona. It's headed away by McPherson. Will Castle gets a little nudge to Gordon Strachan. Still the danger not cleared. Strachan going in the outside of McCoyst. Getting in the cross, it's headed away by McCall. Rangers leading, are living through dangerous times here. It's Gordon Strachan again. Twisting and turning, again getting in a dangerous cross. Richard Goff's up there. Chapman lays it off, it's Gary Speed, but he hits his own player there, Cantona. Goff gets the touch again, but only as far as Strachan. A real siege going on around the Rangers penalty area. This is McAllister. Comes off Hatley. And now a chance for Rangers to counter-attack. With just under ten minutes of this first half left. And Rangers leading by one goal to nil on the night. 3-1 in aggregate. That's Durant's cross, that's a great one! Well, what a terrific save by John Lukic from Ali McCoy. That really could have wrapped it all up. Oh, it's a delightful crossfield ball here being Durant, finds Ali McCoy unmarked at the back post, Ali meets it very sweetly, but a terrific save from John Lukic, that makes up for his blunder at Ibrox in the first leg Well, if that one had gone in it would have tied it all up surely but Lukic there, doing extremely well he's got a terrific record, he hasn't missed out the match since 1987 in the league of course he was at Arsenal for a spell and came to Leeds United 31 years of age Here come Leeds again. This is Gary Speed. John Brown getting the nearest touch in. Now it's David McPherson. Except the both sides uh, making chances in this first half. But a free kick awarded against Ali McCoy there for his challenge on John Newsom. Both sides making chances, but uh, so far, Rangers have taken one of them. Leeds know exactly what they have to do here. They need two goals to take this tie to extra time. And Richard Goff has uh, blood coming from his right eye and uh, he will have to leave the field under uh, FIFA instructions. We certainly don't want uh, Richard Goff to leave in the field uh, just as Leeds United and Tony Dirigo is going to fire a free kick into the penalty box, but rules are rules. And they're, they're, they're well, it looks like he's letting him play yeah. on. Well, he was insisting he left the field. <laughs> he's arguing with Gordon Strack in the referee. But uh, this will have to be uh, done quickly. As you say, it's a set piece here, and uh, they'll need Goff's height. Oh, well. It looks as if he's got a good corner man there, Jerry. <laughs> so, Walter Smith there uh, will be happy with things so far, but uh, he's well enough in the truth to know how quickly this type of tie can turn around. High ball played in by Dorigo. Scooped away by Ali McCoyst. And the Leeds continuing to pump high balls into the Rangers penalty area. And of course, uh, with the height of Goff and McPherson and Brown in there, Rangers should be equipped to deal with it. Hatley's back helping as well. That was Goff getting his head to the ball. This is Dorigo. Everyone except Lukic inside the Rangers half. Goff climbs for it again. High one from Gary Speed. Missed by McPherson, here's Cantona. And it was Dale Gordon who provided the cover. Well, Richard Koff raging there with David McPherson. The tension showing among the Rangers defenders. 
Again, an anxious moment for Andy Gorham and his defence. It's left now to Roe Castle. Does well there. And Lally McCoist back helping in defence. He gets a second attempt at it, but uh, there was certainly a bit of a mix up there. This is Gary McAllister. Ferguson trying to shut him down. Plays it to Strachan. Flipped in again. It's David Robertson for Rangers. Good play by Ferguson to Gordon. Ian Durant sprinting forward in plenty of space here. Rangers pouring men forward now. Hitley's coming with a late run. McCoy's in there through the middle. This is Gordon Strachan. Bring it through for Chapman. Off's in there. Stumbles also to this Chapman. Now certainly showing. This now is Gary Speed to Dorigo. Another high dangerous cross. It's hooked away by John Brown. So just five minutes of this first half left. Here come Leeds again. It's Faircloth that was in there. And uh, John Brown hurt himself as he made the challenge. Still Rangers leading by a goal to nil on the night. And the hold out now till half-time. Good play by Dorigo. Cantona is in there in the far post. And David Robertson, it was, who got in the header to concede the corner kick. Rangers having to soak up a lot of pressure now from these set-pieces. The uh, Ellen Road crowd getting right behind the team. As Strachan hits a corner kick, it's Hately back helping in defence. Goes out to Strachan again. Into the near post. That was McCall who got his head to the ball. And then eventually it goes behind for the goal kick. Well, talk about, about being under pressure. I mean, the Rangers back four have been under tremendous pressure in this first half. And then uh, you just wonder if uh, when Leeds are going to score a goal because there's been so much good quality crosses into the box but at the same time there's been some great blocks and great defending, great headers by the Rangers players and of course Rangers uh, breaking forward uh, effectively at times as we saw when uh, Ian Durant found Ali McCoyst to come Leeds again they'll be desperate to get something back before half time this is Dorigo hitting the early cross a slip there by Goff but uh, John Brown stepped in, it's Dale Gordon clearing to Hitley. it's laid off now to Durant, who's closed down by Faircloth this is Robertson to Hitley. Leeds closing their opponents down quickly this is Newsom. a bit of a stumble there and he gives it away to Robertson Durant getting the touch to Hitley. trying to find Ali McCoy, this is Gordon Strachan with the inside his own half good play by Strachan Inspiring his team. We'll need more of this from him. It's Cantona laying it off. He's turning on a bit of style. A great play by Cantona. Another marvellous save by Andy Gorham. That's three times at least in this first half that the Rangers and Scotland goalkeeper has responded magnificently. Cantona, though, a marvellous player. He found uh, a bit of space for himself there. Uh, Leeds playing with a lot of drive and a lot of style. Just under three minutes of this first half left. And good handling again by Gorham. Well, we said at the start of the game he was going to be a key player. I mean, great build-up initially from Gordon Strachan. Just walks it round John Brown there. Great effort. What a terrific save by Andy Gorham. As I was saying, Jerry, we mentioned at the start of the programme he'd be a key player that's turning out that way. So just under two minutes now. Left in this first half, Rangers leading by one goal to nil. We go, sending it in, it's headed down by John Brown. This is Ferguson. McCall giving it away. That's the second time McCall's done that. Uh, he did have uh, a good early period in the game, but he really will have to just calm down. Here's John Brown now breaking out of defence. Ali McCoyst. And Brown happy to let the ball run out for the throw-in to Rangers. So we just want to keep it calm now for another uh, minute or so. There will be some time added on, I would imagine, over uh, a couple of stoppages. As 
Josh Robertson doing some good running. Getting in the cross. And it was Chris White heading it over his own crossbar. So we're inside the final minute of the first half. We've been under, I mean, Rangers have been under tremendous pressure at times in the first half, Jerry, but I mean, it, They've been dangerous in the break as well and get some good crosses into the box. And this is a situation Leeds haven't defended well, as we said. Offs in there, Lukic gets a fist to it. Ferguson knocking it back in, but uh, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. And he's trying to pick out Cantona, but the ball goes out for the throw in to Rangers. And just 15 seconds left on the stopwatch. Rangers looking for the haven of the dressing room. So we're now into injury time to be added on by referee Alexis Spearin. There was a stoppage uh, after Ian Ferguson was hurt and uh, a minor one for Richard Goff also. Here come Leeds, Strachan laying it off to Dorigo. There by Dale Gordon, who blocked across. Strachan in the thick of it again. Again, it's Dorigo. It's time for the far post. Headed away there by David Robertson. Picked up now by Durant. This is Ferguson. McCoy runs in support. McCoyst is wide left. This is McCoyst. Durant. His first touch letting him down there, but Rangers have it through McPherson. Seemed at the head of Haitley, but uh, the offside flag had gone up. So that's a minute of injury time played in this first half. I thought the first 45 minutes at Ibrox, Jerry, in the first leg would have took a, taken a bit of beating, but this had just been absolutely wonderful and breathtaking stuff. Very exciting. And great news for Scotland. And there goes the half-time whistle. So a terrific first half for Rangers. The half-time score here at Ellen Road. Leeds United nil. Rangers won. There's the scorer, Mark Hitley. So 1-0 for Rangers at the half-time then. And we'll take a break in a couple of minutes. A look back at the key moments of that quite tremendous first half. Hello again, Leeds nil, Rangers won at half-time then, and Ken McRobb's been here and he's gathering the facts from the first half, Ken. Well, obviously, Leeds with more than most of the pressure there towards the end, but the statistics don't actually reveal that. If we look at the corner count, Leeds with five corners in the first half, Rangers only the one. Attempts on goal tells you a little bit more about the game, eight for Leeds and five for Rangers. And shots on target, well, five there for Leeds and three for Rangers, but one of those counted very much indeed. Now, if we compare that to the first leg, we can see that uh, five for Leeds as opposed to uh, four in the, f in the first leg. Uh, for Rangers, there were five, uh, five corners in the first leg, only one tonight. Attempts and goal, uh, what a marked difference there. Eight for Leeds, 13 for Rangers in the first leg, only five tonight, and shots on target. Uh, five tonight, two in the first leg for Leeds, and uh, six for Rangers in the first leg and only three on target tonight. But still, Rangers have got the goal that matters. All right, Ken. Davey, you said Rangers could win it and they are winning it. Yeah, a tremendous match. Uh, I think predictably Leeds were always going to have most of the play. But uh, what a dream start uh, for Mark Haley to get that. I think Leeds uh, now have to come out and really try and do something. But again, Rangers have looked more dangerous on the break, and I wouldn't be surprised if they scored again. Right, of course, it was an early scare for Rangers, Davey. Now, what do you make of this? Uh, John Brown, it looked like handball. Yeah, it was very dangerous. Uh, Cantona came through. I think he was waiting for the ball coming down, but uh, Andy Gorham done tremendous in the end up. I think it was Andy Gorham that played the ball. Did Not really, really well. What about the goal then in two minutes? Mark Haitley, now he surprised Lukic to say the least. Yeah, I think so. I think John Lukic was uh, off his line a couple of yards, but I mean, for Mark Haitley to hit the ball from that angle, nobody thought he was going to turn and have a strike, but what a sweet one it was. What a hit he gave it. I mean, he's going away from the goal here. He just turns and hits a great ball. Keeper <laughs> caught completely cold there. Tremendous strike. And, of course, the same had happened at Ibrooks with McAllister scoring really early. The Ellen Road crowd, well, all of a sudden they were hushed, weren't they? Yeah, that's put the place into silence tonight, all right. 
What a strike. Lukic beaten. All ends up. Davy, of course, leads then through everything at, at uh, Rangers. Now, Lee Chapman came close, and thankfully, as you said to me at the time, you were glad that it was Fairclough who was on the end of the next one because a striker might have finished here. Yeah, as the ball comes down here, it's Fairclough comes in. It's just as well it wasn't a wee Gordon Strachan or someone there, or that may have been a goal. Yes, indeed. Leeds, certainly, as we say, throwing everything up there. The first effort from Chapman, the second one from Fairclough, and Rangers breathed again. OK. I tell you what, we're going to take another break at this stage and we'll talk some more about the first half in a couple of minutes and then it's back to Ellen Road for the whole of the second half live. At the moment, it's Lee Snow, Rangers 1. Davy, Andy Gorham is proving to be uh, a great hero for Rangers and again he came to the rescue with Cantona threatening. Great yeah. punch there. Yeah, he's had a tremendous night. Uh, it's a great ball in from Gordon Strachan here and he came out and took it right off Cantona's head. If Rangers go through tonight, he's a big reason why they've got there. He's had a superb match tonight, Andy Gorham. As you rightly said, Davey, when Rangers break out, they do look dangerous. Now, Ali McCoy, of course, is spear spearheading these attacks. Yeah. And he's not offside here. No, he makes a good run. He timed his run well, and he was only a, a yard from getting through behind Lukic. But he timed it very well, his run. Tremendous run. One more touch, and he might have lifted it over the keeper's body. Cantona at the other end continues to be a, a major threat for Leeds and again Andy Gorham had to be fast out to prevent him scoring here. Yeah, I think Cantona looks the one more likely uh, if the Leeds to get one, if they're going to get one tonight. But clean through there and again Andy Gorham, tremendous save. Great block by Andy Gorham. Yeah, it is that. literally end-to-end -end stuff. At the other end then Lukic had to look smart with McCoy's threatening. Yeah, this is again on the break. Rangers look so dangerous. Alan McCoy's hits that tremendously. There's nothing he could do. Uh, he hit a great ball and Lukic got himself right in front of it and blocked it. McCoyce, as usual, Davy, in the right spot at the right time. Right place at the right time, yeah. And again, just as we were getting towards half-time, Andy Gorham yet again had to bring off heroics from Cantona. Yeah, he's put through again here. Nice bit of skill at the edge of the box and a tremendous strike, one-handed save. What more can you ask for your goalkeeper there? Tremendous. A great... Great save. Gorham, a true hero for Rangers so far. OK, Davey, for the moment, let's hear some more from Ken. Well, the latest uh, from the other European match involving British clubs, Liverpool nil, Spartak 1. And back okay, to Jim. Liverpool, back to Jim. Lose, Liverpool losing. Let's go back to Ellen Road. And welcome back to Ellen Road for the second half. And it just got underway. So Leeds United have 45 minutes to score two goals. And uh, take this match to extra time. Come on, Mark. No changes in either lineup. Come on, and uh, Mark Hitley certainly making up for that late miss in the first leg at Ibrox, scoring the only goal of the game so far tonight. And we hear hearts have gone out of Europe tonight, 2 0 in aggregate. So a uh, long journey home for Joe Jordan and his men out of the UEFA Cup. So Rangers are the standard bearer.